God's hands, ready to do God's will as soon as it is revealed to me. So said Blessed Anmari Jagwe. A day without prayer is a day without blessing, and a life without prayer is a life without power. Hence, I will start this Founders Day program with the words of prayer. O Heavenly Father, we ask you to guide and protect us in every aspect of life. We pray for the success of this event. We also pray for all the families going through tough times in this pandemic. We ask you for the speedy recovery of all those who are suffering from various situations. May we come out of this soon and lead our lives with happiness. We ask all this in the name of our Lord. Amen. Good morning everyone. I am Tudesh Srinivasa and today I will be your anchor. I now request Tejaswini Bhai to begin this program with a welcome speech. A kind gesture can reach a wound that only compassion can heal. It is a moment of great privilege and honor to extend a hearty welcome to all our dear sisters, dedicated teachers, supportive parents and my dear friends. First and foremost, I would like to wish you all a very happy Founders Day. We come across many great individuals who work for peace and help others in all the possible ways they can. One of them is our dear foundress, Blessed and Mari Shaw. Nanit, as she was called, was a velvet brick, a layer of gentleness covering her determined coat. As a child, she was really kind and wanted to do something in return to the society. One night, she heard a voice say, you will accomplish great things for me. Soon, she was joined by three of her sisters and together they opened a school and an orphanage. She founded the Sisters of St. Joseph at Cabellan to educate children and to help to, re to reduce the miseries which arose out of the French Revolution. She worked so hard to make sure that there is love and peace all over the world. In brief, she is a true inspiration to many people who are spreading love and humanity to the world. Now, the students of our school, out of complete gratitude, are coming up with a short yet talented performance. Thank you. Now, our beloved principal, Sister Manju, will be speaking a few words on this special day. A very good morning, dear parents, teachers and students. Today, as we celebrate the feast of Blessed Anne Marie Shawe, the foundress of the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny, I am indeed happy to wish you all a very happy feast day. Anne Marie was a very courageous woman with an optimistic outlook towards life. A very hopeful and determined person to convert the unfortunate situations into a fortunate and pleasant one. Her life itself is an epitome of transforming hurdles of life to a positive outcome. The first woman missionary who, in spite of all the tiring events, especially against the background of French Revolution, proved herself extremely courageous to emancipate the Negroes, thus truly was entitled the liberator of the slaves. Her spirit of prayer and perseverance was extremely remarkable, which turned every dark situation into a beautiful reality. At this time of pandemic, this very life of our foundress, Blessed Anne Marie Shaoway, can give a tone of hope and inspiration to each one of us. This can be very well justified in the story which I am about to narrate, though most of you would have heard about it earlier. There was a bird who lived in a desert, very sick, no feathers, nothing to eat or drink, no shelter to live in. One day, a dove was passing by. So the sick, unhappy bird stopped the dove and inquired, Where are you going? It replied, I am going to the heaven. So the sick bird said, Please find out for me 
when my sufferings will come to an end. The dove said, Sure, I will, and said goodbye to the sick bird and went to the heaven. The dove reached the heaven and shared the message of the sick bird with the angel in charge of the entrance gate. The angel said, For the next seven years of its life, that bird has to suffer like this. No happiness till then, the dove said. When the sick bird hears this, it will get disheartened. Could you suggest any solution for this? And the angel replied, Tell him to recite these words, Thank you God for everything. The dove on meeting the sick bird again, delivered the message of the angel to it. Seven days later, the dove was again passing by and saw the bird was very happy. Feathers grew up on his body, a small plant grew up in the desert area and a small pond of water was also there. The bird was singing and dancing cheerfully. The dove was astonished. The angel had said that there would be no happiness for the bird for the next seven years. With this question in mind, the dove went to visit the angel at the heaven's gate. The dove put forth his query to the angel. The angel replied, yes, it is true. There is no happiness for the bird for the next seven years. But because the bird was reciting, thank you God for everything, in every situation of its life, its life changed. When the bird fell down on the hot sand, it said, Thank you God for everything. When it couldn't fly, it said, Thank you God for everything. When it was thirsty and there was no water around, it said, Thank you God for everything. Whatever the situation, the bird kept repeating, Thank you God for everything. And therefore, the seven years got dissolved in seven days. Well, the purpose of sharing this message to you is to make us all aware of how powerful the attitude of gratitude is. It can reshape our lives. Let's recite these words continuously to experience the shift in our lives. So be grateful and sing the change in your attitude. Be humble and you will never stumble. And remember, thank you God for everything. Thank you. Thank you so much, sister, for your encouraging words. Thank you, Tejuskini. We now move on to the main event of today, competition. We have two categories, drawing and speech. So first, let's move on to the drawing competition and let us all encourage our participants. So, in drawing, we will start with coloring. I am happy to welcome all the students who are bringing color to this program with their drawing and coloring skills. Let us sit back and enjoy. sketching skills in depicting the charismatic life of Anmari Shankar.
Next, let's move on to the second category of competition, speech. The participants are now going to speak about the vision and mission of Anmari Jau. Let us put our hands together for these young speakers. Firstly, uh, I would like to welcome our beloved principal, Reverend Sister Manju. Sister, welcome to the event and uh, Sister, I understand how busy you are and thank you so much for sharing your precious time with us, Sister. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> After that, uh, I take this opportunity, it's a great privilege for me to welcome our esteemed judges and it's none other than our own dear teachers, Miss Mary John, Miss Kalavati and Miss Sheba Babu. Uh, thank you, dear teachers, for being a part of this event. Uh, being a major part of this event actually. Thank you so much. Uh, now we have our next speaker, that's Chinmay G for us from Standard 10th, Section A again. So, good afternoon teachers, principals and judges and my dear friends. My name is Chinmay G. I'm from 10th Standard A section. And today I'm gonna tell a speech about the topic called Vision and Mission of Anne-Marie Javi. Before that, I want to tell a brief information about her. That is, before she was born, her mother had been alarmed by the baby's strength and vigor. Especially on Fridays, her mother wondered what was especially on Fridays, her mother wondered what was the God's plan for this baby. And on one day, that is on November 10, 1779, she was born in a remote village in France, and she was named as Anne by her eternal aunt who was her godmother. So she was the fifth among her 10 siblings and was the most loved kid in her family. Okay, next we have uh, our second contestant from Standard 9th B section, Yashiswini Murli Dhara. Be kind, not because of who they are or what they do in return, but because of who you are. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Yashiswini Murli Dhara of 9th B, and I would like to speak a few words on our great foundress, Blessed Anne Marie Jave. When many of us have played cat and mouse during our childhood, this astounding personality it pleased who were hunted because of their unswerving fidelity to their religion. Not many teenagers have taught Christian doctrine at the time when this was forbidden by the law. But to these charges, this child could plead guilty. Who was this kindred spirit? Of course, it was none other than our very own beloved Anne Mary Javi. And Mary Jahu Evaro, either name Agalagi Janisidar. He were a Balia Pahala Santosha in the Kuditu. He were again, they were Ali Aparava the Bakti Matun and Biketu. He were a Balia the Lita Mahechina Sameva no Pratan Eli Kalutitaro. Thanks to all the participants for the speech on the enlightening life of Anne Mary Jahu. Next, I welcome the students who are about to sing a divine song on this auspicious day.
more melodious song. Next, we head on to the event we all are waiting for. for dazzling us with your wonderful performance. Now, let's immerse into divinity as Ms. Deborah Thomas gives us an enlightening message. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. Today, the 15th of July, is a distinct day as we commemorate the feast of our foundress, Blessed Anne Marie Shahoe. When one seeks God, one makes no mistakes. Let us love the good God and let us fear nothing. In this life, we cannot do great things. We can only do small things with great love. This was cited by our exemplar, Blessed Anne Marie Shaoui. Ardent and intrepid, passionate and faithful, quick to love and forgive, filled with a goodness that knew no limits or barriers, Blessed Anne Marie Shawe lived a life of intense union with God. This strengthened her and was the driving force behind her unconditional service to children, the sick in mind and body, those who were despised and all the poor who came her way. Blessed Anne-Marie Shawe's Prophetic intuition, natural talent of teaching, daring initiatives, creativity had their origin in her unshakable union with the Almighty. An ardent love, an overwhelming desire to do something worthwhile and accomplish something which will leave an unforgettable mark on the world where the beliefs and intense desires of this spirited and zestful person, our foundress, Blessed Anne-Marie Shawe. The sisters of Cluny, rooted in faith and alive in spirit, continue her mission and vision for Christ in classrooms and mission villages, in hospital wards, orphanages, psychiatric hospitals, and in caring for retired people. They go wherever they are needed, and they are needed everywhere. Let us pray today to this great missionary, 
blessed Anne Marie Shawe to intercede to God that we to be blessed with such a vivid faith to illuminate ignite inspire and guide us in the path of love to accomplish all that God wills at all times and in all circumstances to promote his reign of love justice and peace on this auspicious day i pray that the fruits of this special day take root and be multiplied in our lives as the mission goes on and we be filled with the fullness of god happy feast dear sister josephine and the community teachers non teaching staff and students this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it thank you miss for your enriching message thanks are the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonders it is a great moment to express our sincere most thanks to the almighty god for making today's event a resounding success with his blessings and grace we are able to make this event graceful and surely have enlightened our minds a special mention of our respected principal sister manju for being the motivation that stimulated us to do our best and standing as pillars of strength an event like this cannot happen overnight it requires planning and a bird's eye for detail we have been fortunate enough to be backed by our teachers who guided us every step to make this event so divine With a deep sense of appreciation, we thank all our lovely teachers for their untiring efforts. A heartfelt gratitude is extended to Mustafa sir and team for making this event a virtual treat to the eye. A special thanks runs to all the parents for their involvement and motivation for the success of this program. A gratitude is expressed to all the participants for their total involvement without which this event would not have been a reality. Thanks to all the judges for penning down their valuable results for the various competitions held. I once again wish you a very happy Founders Day. Thank you.